January 2030, uh, uh, you become the United Nations Envoy, Special Envoy uh, to Kennedy uh, What do you do? Well, I was uh, the Special Envoy representative there for over a year and a half uh, to help the people there, help the United Nations bring in a constitutional order back to the country following a military coup and the, the mission was considered a complete success i was congratulated by the secretary general by african leaders and then the secretary general asked me to chair a high level independent panel on united nations peace operations and that is to review the work of all United Nations operations around the world, particularly the peacekeeping uh, forces. I did the work for uh, almost one year and presented the report to the Secretary General, Security Council, General Assembly, and now I'm going to New York precisely for a special session of the UN General Assembly to discuss uh, my report and recommendations on how to make the UN more effective in preventing conflicts or in resolving conflicts when the conflicts happen, like in Syria, uh, total uh, failure by the international community in preventing the conflict and in negotiating an end till today. Yeah, Mr. Ramos, uh, as an international figure, Okay, uh, talking about Papua, what the problem you see there? Well, A, when you look at the, the challenges in Papua, they are very, very small, minor, when you look at the uh, much bigger problems, even in Southeast Asia. There is uh, no comparison with the problems in Southern Philippines, Southern Thailand, Myanmar, uh, it's a very low level uh, conflict. The problem in uh, Papua is primarily a social uh, problem, poverty problem, inequality. Not political problem. Uh, of course it's political, but I would say uh, the political problem uh, derives from uh, the social uh, problem in the sense of uh, lack of hope uh, by the people. However, with uh, President Jokoyo, with Odo uh, initiating new policies in regard to Papua, uh, with uh, a holistic, integrated, comprehensive approach to Papua. How to address poverty in Papua? You don't address just by throwing money at Papua. You provide more resources, more money, but more training, more capacity building, more empowering of Papuans, more education and training for them, but also addressing uh, the root causes of the unhappiness. And the root causes have to do with the sense of uh, they the feel like second class citizens, uh, lack of a future. Uh, so this holistic approach the president is proposing, I believe, will have a significant impact in the minds and uh, perceptions of the people there. Yeah, Mr. Ramos, uh, you and said uh, the people of Papua still credence, uh, give credence to Indonesia uh, government. In your opinion, uh, what makes the Papuan people still believe? Well, A, you, we cannot compare situation of Indonesia today, particularly after uh, 99, with the fall of the Suharto era, until today. Of course, immediately after the fall of the Suharto era, you cannot automatically, things change. You know, it doesn't happen just like that. A, a regime goes, a new one comes, the next day everything changes. No, of course, you have to start the very long process of uh, uh, building democracy, rule of law, improving the economy, 
and the same time Indonesia was facing its own internal instability after 98-99. Uh, with SBE uh, things began to consolidate, you know, uh, things began to stabilize in uh, Indonesia, the economy started growing. You have a, a man who is really from the people. He was very successful uh, in Solo and in Jakarta, known as a man of the people, a man of action and the simplicity, humility. And that's what the world needs. The world needs people like uh, President Jokoyu, who are men of the people. And uh, so he inspired uh, people. They trust him because they feel he is one of ours. And we can see that in a bit over one year, he's already uh, uh, improving the economy of Indonesia. In spite of the world recession, in spite of the uh, serious challenges with the Chinese economy, slow growth, uh, almost recession basically in Japan. Uh, you have a, a Singapore next door which faces serious economic and fiscal problem, but Indonesia is growing at over 5%. And that partly result of uh, domestic economy, the reforms, uh, the trust by foreign investors in the policies of President Jokoyo. A lot of foreign investments coming. So uh, in uh, two years he has already made tremendous uh, difference. And if these policies continue, another three, five years from now, Indonesia will be a very powerful economic force in the region. In regard to uh, Papua, the same uh, reaction. You know, people watch. You know, the common people in Java, in Sumatra, in, in uh, Sulawesi, everywhere, when they look at uh, President Jokoyu, it's the same way the people in Papua, they, they look. They admire him, they trust him. Now a question of delivering. You know, one, we create hopes, expectation, and uh, they want, they hope that their life is going to improve with you. And uh, I believe with the holistic approach the government has proposed, that has to include dialogue, persistent, ongoing dialogue, listening to the people in Papua, to feel uh, so that they feel they are really part of Indonesia. They we should not uh, uh, exaggerate or overreact uh, uh, to media coverage uh, of any situation. If you actually look at the, the number of uh, headlines around the world, particularly in the West, about the situation in Papua, is very, very limited. The world is preoccupied with Syria, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, and the Europeans completely overwhelmed by the economic financial crisis and particularly the refugee crisis. Uh, there is continuing uh, serious financial economic problems in Europe. You go to the US Congress, no one is thinking about the rest of the world. Maybe they think about China now, maybe about Russia, but they are preoccupied with the elections. And uh, after the new president is uh, elected in November, they are not going to think about immediately uh, uh, other issues. So uh, we have to look in perspective. So my advice also to West Papuans uh, is, is focus on how to work together inside Papua to improve the situation for everybody. They have a great chance with this president, Jokoyu, a humble person, honest, uh, who wants to change uh, things in uh, Papua. So give him a chance to work with him. And my advice to uh, young uh, Papuans, 
seize every opportunity to study, study, and study. Papua will never grow uh, if its people do not study hard. Uh, so instead of um, uh, carrying out to a so-called armed struggle, uh, totally uh, uh, make no sense when you have a democratic government. You could understand if there is tyranny, when you have a um, totalitarian regime that refuses uh, democracy. When you have a, a totally open uh, democratic system, where there are free elections uh, in the country, and uh, you have an armed struggle, no one is going to support that. Uh, so I would say, uh, work with the government. And I know many Papuans who, in the past, live abroad, in Sweden and else, they have returned. And I respect them, I know who they are, and they return because they have hopes with the new Indonesia. Uh, so that's my message. And as a brother, as uh, someone who uh, understands Indonesia, understands uh, the Papuans, that's my advice. The best for their people in Papua to improve their lives is to work with the central government in Indonesia, to work with the government now. Uh, with the president, with pa Lord Panjaitan, uh, work with the Indonesian society, come to Jakarta, talk to the politicians here, talk to academics, talk to the media, uh, create their lobby in Indonesia, not lobby uh, outside Indonesia. Mr. Ramos, I would like uh, to know your position uh, about Papua. Are you going to help the Indonesia government? to resolve the Papua? Uh, if the Indonesian government uh, wishes uh, me to continue to help, yes. But uh, uh, Indonesia has a, a lot of experience in handling difficult situations, much more difficult than Papua, like Aceh. Aceh was far more difficult than uh, Papua. The GAM in the past, in the 70s and 80s, carry out armed struggle and a very violent armed struggle. Uh, compared with uh, Papuans, uh, OPM, OPM were angels. When you look at the behavior of GAM, I personally never wanted anything to do with the GAM because of the violence uh, they did. But in the end, the central government sat down and talked with GAM. Now they have a special autonomy status Apparently, things are going reasonably well in Aceh. No longer anyone talk about separation. And uh, so that uh, will be more easily happen in Papua. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Ramos, on the issue of human rights in Papua, you see there something urgent in Papua. The policies of uh, President Jokoyu uh, implemented uh, by uh, Bank Luhut Panjaitan is uh, total openness, no hiding problems. Problems have to be discussed, put on the table. Uh, so I believe that uh, if there are uh, human rights problems, violations in uh, Papua, uh, civil society, NGOs in Indonesia with experience dealing with human rights situation, there's some, they should uh, monitor, report in a credible fashion to the President's office, uh, take to the Indonesian Parliament, uh, to the media in uh, Indonesia.